Jenny, fantastic. What have you written? What have you written, Jenny? Your name. Your name. Yes. <laughs> Dr. Anupama herself, consultant, science, communication, and public engagement. So today we are inviting very important resource person, uh, Dr. Anupama herself, Madam, uh, who is a consultant of uh, IISER Pune, uh, for delivering a very interesting topic on science communication and public engagement. As you know, the science communication nowadays is very important, and uh, that is why we, we have invited Madam for delivering today's lecture. And uh, I hope all the viewers will be benefited by the lecture or deliberations given by Madam herself, and uh, all the students will be benefited from this program. So, Madam, thank you very much for giving us time. Uh, and uh, you have given us uh, your precious time for this uh, deliberations. As you know, Madam, uh, this is a College of Horticulture and Forestry mm -hmm. under the Central Agricultural University in Paul. Yeah. So we have uh, 13 different constituent colleges are there under Central Agricultural University. So in Pasigat, there are two colleges. That is one is College of Horticulture and Forestry and College of Agriculture also. So. Mm -hmm. So we have a IDP NAHEP program in a few of the institute, a few of the constituent college. Uh, among this, uh, the College of Horticulture is also lucky enough to get this project. Okay. So under this project, we are sending the students to abroad for their personality development. And we are trying to make them the entrepreneurs in this direction. And so, and our uh, under this program, the faculty will be also sending to abroad and for their personality development. So in this connection, uh, you are invited and we are very much thankful to you because you have given us time today. Uh, so without taking much time, I thank once again to you and all the viewers for this deliberation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Raja. Thank you, Dr. Hazarika and wonderful initiative. I have visited Pasighat. I have uh, stayed in your guest house and addressed your students for three days, sir. Uh, if you remember, okay. year before last, I have full scope. Okay. So we have interacted. So what amazing endeavors you have. Very good labs. I was very impressed because that was my first travel to Pasighat. So thank you very much. And a real yeah. kudos to your team for putting this together, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, like you rightly said, very rightly said that in the time that we are, uh, we need to keep ourselves motivated and uh, also, you know, uh, enthused in whatever we are doing because this is the given circumstances. So we have to, within this framework, excel in what we are doing. And uh, so when Raja sir and me were discussing, we actually divided science communication into two parts where we said we will be talking about goal setting and critical thinking on day one. And on day two, we will be talking about how to write a paper and how to read scientific literature. So that would come as a package, you know, so that you know that this could be a good goal setting for you. This is how you need to think and evaluate things. And then, of course, you know, a core domain knowledge of how to read a research paper, how to write a research paper. So whether you're an undergraduate student or a postgraduate student, you know, you will get a hang of it. So with your kind permission, I will be beginning my slides now. And uh, I would request students to keep a pen and uh, paper with them in hand because there are a lot of exercises that I'm going to make you do. Uh, so you will need to write down uh, many things. So if you can just keep a pen and paper with you, uh, it would be a good thing to do. So uh, beginning with uh, what is goal setting and critical thinking. Now, these are not things which can be taught to a person, but definitely you can be primed. You can be aligned to uh, understand that it's important to have a goal in life. Okay. So let me begin with an example. So when we are children, uh, you know, there are days when we want to become a footballer. Uh, there are days when we want to become an Air Force pilot. There are days when we want to become a scientist. And uh, there are days when we just want to become a hero or a heroine. Okay. So what's important here is not what you want to become, but the fact that you understand that there is somewhere that you want to reach. And to reach somewhere, you have to begin. Okay. So you have to begin somewhere. Only then you will be able to attain or you know reach a particular place. 
so uh, i tell all my students and uh, i would tell you the same thing that it's not important that you have a fixed goal that i want to become only a or i want to become only b it's important even if your goal changes over a period of 3 months or 6 months or even a year but what is important is that you have a goal yes it's important that you see yourself that this is where i see myself after so many years after so many months or at the end of this pandemic period okay so where are we now as you can see i have taken the example of a scrabble here and we begin now so what we are going to do is we are going to be doing few exercises when i'm going to be asking you to write down a few things we are going to be drawing from it okay so please don't lie down or don't sit down idle just take your pen and pencil and be ready with what i'm going to be asking you to do so we will begin on the note uh, you know like i saw many people their videos were on and uh, i'm sure as your teacher adar sir must be wondering that uh, uh, why are you lying down and watching uh, a lecture that has been arranged for you with so much of uh, meticulation and dedication by him by the university so many approvals so i think do you ever feel like you're sleep walking through your life yes where you have no idea where you want to go so you are sleep walking so aram say you are going through life where you are not sure where you want to go where uh, you have no idea what you want in life or perhaps you know exactly what you want to achieve but you have no idea how to get there okay so i have taken both the probabilities that either you are in a relaxed mood ki sir has arranged the lecture we can lie down and see the lecture after all after 2 hours they will give a quiz and then we will get a certificate or you want to go somewhere you are aiming to reach somewhere but you have no idea of how to go there we are all stuck right but i think you all understand that even in the given situation we have devised ways and mechanisms of uh, actively engaging ourselves of actively being involved of a sense of commitment where uh, sir is working for the university i am working for i sir so there is a lot of productivity that is happening our answerability is there so definitely we have devised a way of increasing our productivity yes of increasing our productivity so perhaps you know exactly what you want to achieve but you have no idea of how to get there now this is very obvious because you are a student yes so you don't have a clear picture of where you are going or uh, where you need to go as compared to sir and me where we have clear objectives we have something called as kra we have key result areas yes so we know that under teaching learning process we have to do so much under outreach we have to do so much under let's say for example under naheb sir knows that as a nodal officer he has to perform so much so we have an idea but as students for you it is maximized you know that you go to college you finish your studies take a degree go for academic progression so if it is bsc you become get msc or mtech if it is mtech you either do for a you know a lateral entry for an mba or for a phd okay so we are going to be talking about both these things that are you sleep walking through where you are or you want to reach somewhere but you don't know how to reach there so we'll try and navigate this through our talk today now what are goals okay if you see here i have taken a uh, uh, you know uh, what do you say uh, a target the uh, uh, board where you actually you know you put bullseye where you actually put a, a dashboard or you put a pin or you put your target and there is a sense of achievement if you put it in the center okay otherwise it gives you a range of where you have reached okay now there is a specific reason why this is given to you so goals are the first step towards planning for the future okay they play a fundamental role in the development of skills in various facets of life from work to relationships and everything in between okay please remember we don't not only work to become better people but when we become better people we improve our interpersonal and intrapersonal whether it is our relationships with our uh, friends and family or whether it is our relationship with our peers or our relationship with our uh, uh you know fellows at home or with friends or with just colleagues okay so that is why i have taken work to relationship and everything in between now they are the target yes with which we aim our uh you know our entire uh, our entire energy we aim and we put it there right so goals are a step or a first step towards planning for your future yes now i'm sure all of you want to reach somewhere you all want to reach somewhere and that is what your future is it could be your future for today that is what is your plan for tomorrow or your plan for today evening 
that after this session, I'm going to do some extra reading. I'm going to set up my own goals. If I have not done that earlier, I'm going to do it now. Yes. So they are the target at which we aim our proverbial arrow. Why are we saying proverbial arrow? Because it is imaginary. Yes, it is imaginary. So we have to aim it at where we want to reach and whether or not it will reach is what we are going to understand. So this is the first step. So if you didn't have a goal till now, I would suggest that it's good to think that what is my goal in life? Yes, ask yourself, uh, where do you want to uh, go in life? Where do you want to reach? Okay, now we have the chat window here. And uh, if there are any specific questions that you want to put, I would suggest that you put your questions in the chat window, uh, which we will address at the end of the session. Okay, so we will have a discussion so we can address what, what are the issues that you are facing and how best we can navigate through this. So in the words of Pablo Picasso, our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of plans. Yes, it cannot be reached otherwise. You have to understand this. In which we must fervently believe. It's actually saying that when you have a plan, your plan is your vehicle. You are actually traveling through the plan. That is your vehicle. Yes, in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. So can I reach a place by just sitting in my car? What do you think, friends? Can I reach my reach a destination by just sitting in the car? No. What do I have to do? I have to take action. And what is that action? I have to drive the car. I have to drive the car or the vehicle. So our goals can be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. Okay? And believe me, there is no other route to success. Okay? And this is what we call as goal setting. This is what we call as goal setting. So you must have a goal, whether it is a short term goal or a long term goal. That is what I want to do today evening versus what I want to do, uh, let's say, by the end of the year or by the end of the year, by the end of, uh, end of this pandemic. Yes. So what is my goal setting? What is my mind aiming to achieve? What is it that I want to learn from this? And what is my preparedness? to face this particular, uh, you know, to go and get or, you know, get what I want for whatever goal I'm setting, am I able to navigate and reach there to achieve it? Yes. So like I said, I will try and make it as simple for you. So I'm going to use a lot of my, uh, you know, scrabble in my slides because I, it really impresses me that you actually build words. You actually build words using a scrabble game and actually in life using simple techniques using simple plans, we actually build our own personality. Isn't it? We build our own personality. So that's what I want you to do. So I want you to take a pen and paper. Yes. And I want you to write down, ask yourself questions like this. What are they? What do I really want in my life this year? Maybe very ambitious. So what is it that I want in my life? After this pandemic, after this pandemic is over, after the lockdown seems to get over, what is it that I really want in my life? What's important for me in life? What's really important for me in my life? Yes, is it important for me to, uh, you know, just get my degree and finish with it? Or am I looking forward to get my degree, uh, go further for an MBA or for a PhD or for, a, you know, any any specific uh, course that I'm looking for after my present degree that I have achieved. What do I want to achieve? Yes. What is it that I want to achieve? Where do I want to go? What do I want more in my life? So what do I want more in my life? Do I want it? Uh, do I want uh, happiness? Do I want to be at peace? Do I want to and you know ensure that I, my English is better? My vocabulary is better? So what is it that I want more out of my life? What can be a game changer for me? Yes, what is it that will be a game changer for me? And who is the person I want to become? Yes, who is the person that I want to become? So now I can see there are about 68 students or 68 participants here. So I want you to take a pen and paper and write this down. And if possible, if you want to talk about it, then you can say it. Otherwise, you can use the chat window 
and communicate your answer to me and i'm keeping the chat window open here so that i can see your answers okay so i want you to answer these questions what is it that i want from my life this year what's really important for me in my life what is it that i want to achieve what do i want more in my life do i want happiness do i want scholastic uh, uh, you know achievement is there anything specific that i want to improve my handwriting i want to improve my english language i want to improve my vocabulary i want to learn a new language so i need your answers in the chat box that what is it that you're asking you know that you're aiming for maybe at the end of the pandemic or at the end of the year or at the end of your academic year okay come on come on i need answers so that we can start building on them yes or who is the person i want to become who is the person that i want to become so i want to become a scientist i want to become very good very good so ritika very good i want to be the best version of myself very good so that's a starting point for you ritika that i want to be the best version of myself so you definitely see we are not discussing personal uh, traits here but you definitely see and you understand that there are certain traits in you that need improvement now that could be a perfect goal yes that could be a perfect goal right now because you have a lot of time you have a lot of uh, uh, you know resources available where you can actually help improve yourself and you can also test it because some people around you uh, will actually validate and say that oh wow for the last 2 3 days you are behaving quite differently so even the best version that you are becoming of yourself yes can be tested and validated that yes if i do this i will become a better person yes sandeep to associate in research and development sector and contribute my knowledge gain during academic time very good to associate in research and development sector and contribute my knowledge gain during academic time so sandeep your goal seems very clear that you want to uh, you know make a niche for yourself in research and development and you want to contribute your knowledge now when you when you say you want to contribute your knowledge obviously your your path is going to be to acquire more and more knowledge yes and whatever knowledge you have you have a very rational sense of looking at things you want to build a way in way you uh, you know in which you look at things and you obviously want to keep this as a wonderful resource and keep equipping your skill set who is the person i want to become i want to learn to choose my dreams and stick to it when things don't go well in life very good kiran i am going to be talking about dreams i am going to be talking about how dreams are different than goal setting but very well we are going to work on this uh what do i really want in life this year to make the world free from corona pandemic very good shweta that's a very nice uh, thing to think i think if we all adapt or uh, adopt a new way of life where we continuously uh, you know follow well curated sites we uh, maintain good levels of hygiene keep our immunity boosted and i'm sure things are going to work out well in the betterment of the world yes uh, i want to become uh, okay uh, sapikala i want to complete my phd peace and money shorthand typing english talk improvement commercial scientific farmer amazing amazing so um i i'm very happy uh, you know with the responses that you're getting this is one way of communicating see we are not meeting each other we are not e meeting each other face to face and i cannot help all of you achieve the goals but why i want these goals are because at the end of the session or after two days or after a week i want you to give me a feedback a very valid feedback saying how you were able to help yourself i want to be my own idol and accomplish in whatever i want to do bioma yes bioma that's a very valid point in this world half of us are running uh, or following people yes so it's very important that you are your own self motivator or your own guide okay so whatever you do whatever you want to do and you you can accomplish you should be self motivated okay so i will i'll be talking about myself and i'll be talking about all of you in particular so i am very happy that all of you have uh, you know used the chat window even later when i ask you to turn the camera on when the discussion is going on i want to hear more of this okay so after asking yourself these questions now i can see some people are still writing but anyway the chat window is open so i will be going back to it again and again 